How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video and in today's video I was going to do the Mach 1 Mustang so we could finish up the old muscle versus old muscle build um, on this Challenger versus on the Challenger versus the Mach 1 but I think we have a more interesting build to do for the for this episode at least I think it'll be one episode long uh, we're gonna be doing this Honda lawnmower um, it's it has an it has an inline three double overhead cam. Uh, it's pushing 72 horsepower right now. Um, if you scroll down these parts list here, there is a good amount of stuff, but it's really not that much. Um, so I think we're literally going to do this entire thing in one sitting. Um, I think the hardest part will probably be the motor, but that's just it. Cause then uh, look at this though, suspension. Super small suspension. It's really funny. Um, but yeah, here, let's get started on this. Let me get this thing up on the lift because that's just so funny. Um, we will do this. I don't know where the battery is. So we haven't found that yet. Oh, I moved over to entrance A. So yeah, this, no, this is a very super, this is a very small, um, I don't really uh, like build here, so I don't really know how we're gonna do this or how it's gonna go. There's the battery, at least. All right, there's one of the fenders. I can can't take the seat out. You can take the front bumper off. I think that's it. The oh headlight. All right, I think that's all that we can take off. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, global body condition one percent. Okay, so. I'm just trying to think next. Does this even have a transmission on it? Nope, it just has a drive shaft hooked right up to it. So I think we'll just oh we have to unhook that drive shaft and we should be good. Alright, let's uh oh I move these over to one. Alright, so let's see what happens when we weld the body. There we go. Much better shape. And I guess we can do an interior cleaning. Not really needed, but we'll do it anyways. Okay, there we go. So, this is so weird. All the parts are like so much, so much smaller than usual. Like, this fuel tank is absolutely tiny. When you're zoomed in like we are right now, it looks large, but it's not. Okay, so we're taking off both the tires. Um... There we go. I think we'll probably do slicks on this next one just because I think that's really, really funny. Um, all right, let's disconnect the drive shaft. There we go. It's weird. It's like all super, super small frame now. All right, let's get this disconnected because once we get this disconnected, then we can do the motor. So I don't really know if this thing is going to end up taking all the pieces that we're going to put onto it, but it might. All right, we'll pop the fuel tank out. Um, we will pull the motor out. It's just an I3, so not sure how much it'll really need it. Um, no, what the heck? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I'm so used to moving everything over to entrance one. Okay. Can I not pull the engine? Never mind. That sucks. All right. It looks like we can't pull the engine out of this. Let me just hop up here and see. Wow. Okay. All right, guys. There we go. I was able to pull the motor out. I don't really know. I took apart pretty much everything. I think it might have been the oil pan that was not letting me take it out. Um, but I got that figured out, so there we go. It's pretty much already completely taken apart, so that kind of sucks, but there we go. And now, okay, we'll go through, repair all this, and then we're going to put this thing back on. So this is an I3, um, so it's obviously there's not much to it. Okay, did repair it. All right, we're going to put on performance parts, though, guys, because I want to see uh, it's 72 horsepower stock, but I'm wondering 
if we can maybe push it over 100 horsepower on a lawnmower, um, I think that'd be pretty insane if we got it to work. Right, I'm trying to grab everything I know we need. Camshaft for an i3. We're just going to hope and pray that's the one we need. Uh, what else do we need? We need rod caps. We need three of these. We're going to need some crankshaft caps. I think it's three also. It's either three or one. I don't remember. And we need piston rings. There they are. Oh, while we're in here, I guess we'll just grab oil filter also. Where's the i3? There she goes. All right, so yeah, the, I'm thinking that'd be a 50% gain in horsepower if we were managed to do it, which I don't think is too unreasonable, honestly. A 50%, usually everything's like 75 to 80% of a gain, so I think it's definitely a possibility. All right, that's done. Get our filter, performance alternator, water pump for an I4. See if we have a performance water pump. Let me go in here. Water. No, we don't have a performance water pump. There it is. Um, we'll grab a pulley just in case. And then I don't know. What... No, we don't. Oh, we didn't need the pulley. Dang it. Oh, that sucks. I shouldn't have done that. Um, we'll get the head though for a I3. All right, we're going to wait out and see if it's head B. Oh, yeah, it is head B. Sweet. 7% gain. I'll take that. And then we can see if we bought the correct camshafts. It's weird because this, uh, the reason we're doing this entire quote, quote, car all in one is because it's super, super small. So uh, we figured, we, I figured we might as well just do it all at once. All right, then we need some cam gears. Um, let me see. We need an I3 manifold exhaust, and there's the intake. I think that was the correct intake. Oh, this intake looks like a supercharger. All right, get our exhaust thrown on here. I don't think it had an exhaust manifold on it before, but hey, now it does. What is that, a thermostat? No thermostat in here. Okay, that's all right. I don't think we've put a thermostat in pretty much anything. I think it was a V12. That was the first time we put a thermostat in. Um, but thermostats are very, very crucial parts of cars. I know I've replaced one at least three or four times, actually. So a throttle for an i3 and a cam gear for an i3. We need two of these. Then we're going to need an i3 throttle. Uh, t -t 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 there she is. See, yeah, we've only been working on this motor for what? Four minutes now, and we're pretty much done. Um, let me see. Camshaft caps we don't have yet. We'll put in our spark plugs and get everything else. So grab ignition coils and six camshaft um, caps. Cap singular. Um, okay, let's see here. So six of these. Good. And then what's the other? One? Oh, it's a serpentine belt. So we'll do I three serpentine belt. All right, we'll get A and B just to be sure. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely need B actually. I can get these. And we didn't have the head cover either, so we don't get that either. What was that part? Oh, the fuel rail. It's a fuel rail for an I3. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize there's actually eight here total. Uh, I think I bought one or two, two less than I needed. So we'll get that and the fuel rail um, while we're in here. Uh, get this. Oh, I bought three. All right, it's fine. Um, and then we're we'll do I three 
timing cover. And then we'll get the fuel rail for the I-3 while we're in here. Fuel rail I-3. Get our injectors. There we go. All right, here's the cover. It's so weird. All these junkyard like pieces that we buy never have anything. Everything's always missing. Um, head cover. Sweet, we got the right one. I say probably 75% of the parts are usually missing. Uh, most of the time, though, it's you don't even get a head on the motor. Usually, you just end up having to deal with uh, what was it? It was strictly a uh, like pistons, not even like rods or anything. And you just pistons and connecting or crankshaft. That's all you have. Just piston and and crankshaft. It's really really weird sometimes. Uh, crank I spelled crankshaft wrong. There we go. Jeez. Crankshaft for an I-4. And then we also are going to grab ourselves a fuel pump while we're in here. And a fuel filter. What else are we missing on the front end here? Oh, we're missing our... I see what we're missing. Alright, let me grab these parts real quick. And then we will do that front part completely grab this and then we're missing our oil pan for an I, our i3 there she is it looks like it might have a part for a uh, what do you call that I'm blanking here it might have a part for a, uh, a roller to sit on it which is most likely the main reason why I didn't let us put that on yet. All right, there's our release bearing. And oh, I also didn't connect it up though. Did I really? Oh, I haven't even done all of the bottom end yet. All right, looks like we're doing this thing in reverse. Usually I do the bottom end first. You're supposed to do the bottom end first. Oh, looks like I bought a couple too many crankshaft caps for an i3 which I'll probably never use again because nothing in this game has an i3 okay there we go what no I hit the yeah I'll see give me the good one yeah see I think there's a roller spot either that's a roller spot or yep there we go and then we need a tensioner I assume alrighty And there we go. I think that is the full engine top to bottom. Technically, if you want to. Technically, we went top to bottom. Let's see here. Make sure there's no other highlighted parts for us to put in. Alrighty. She looks good. Pull it off, and we will implant. Alright, there we go. Um, we'll start putting back together some of our engine pieces here. Radiator A. Uh, oh wow, it actually has a gearbox. We just didn't just didn't give us the opportunity to put this thing on at all. Uh, so radiator fan housing. Okay, so grab this one and this one, and then we'll grab ourselves the i3 gearbox, which I'm super shocked that we even. So that's why that's why this thing made no sense to me when we first looked at it, it was because it was missing all those parts. And I was like, how does this thing drive without a gearbox? It looked like it just like straight up connected up to the bottom of the motor, which I was confused about. Uh, but it's here. Exhaust section A or B. So there's A. Okay. Yeah, we want A. Gives us an extra two horsepower. All right, there's that. And then we can put our engine stand back get this guy up in the air get that battery charging while we wait and then all we need to do now is connect up our gearbox
There we go. And then where else is this thing going to connect? Oh, we need a starter. Ooh, we shouldn't connect our drive shaft up yet. Um, all right, next thing to do is going to be uh, our suspension parts here. So this looks like just a regular suspension. It's got disc brakes and everything. All right, there we go. Um, I'm probably just going to fast forward through this just so we can get this one done because I really, really, really uh, want to get this thing thrown on the dyno to see what type of number she puts down. So I'm just going to fast forward through me taking this up all apart and then I will see you guys back when I have all the parts and we are ready to put it all back together. Um, and then we will be, uh, be good to go. We'll be golden. All right, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so I just finished tearing it all apart. You guys probably just saw me repair everything, um, or repair everything that we could. So it looks like it is now time to start sliding everything back into shape. Uh, let me grab the fuel filter real quick, or the fuel uh, fuel tank really quick, actually. So let's see here, fuel. And I think we have a performance fuel filter already. That was the battery, not the fuel tank. Or fuel pump, not fuel filter, duh. And get our drive shaft slotted into place. There we go. So yeah, the drive shaft does just hook straight up right there, which is a little interesting, but you know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. So we need sway bar B for the front and rear, actually. I remember that part. So rear sway bar B, front sway bar B. Grab two of these, two of these. Um, and while, right, uh, while we're in here, we're going to do this those and then we're gonna grab some more brake pieces because i think we lost the caliper and a cylinder um four pads because this whole thing is insane because it actually has full brake pads on every single part all right we'll get our rubber bushings in so we don't forget these i think we're literally gonna oh we're gonna have to we're gonna run out of rubber bushings we're gonna have to go get new ones dang it I always hope that we manage to uh, scrape by on bushings, which usually we do, but I guess not this time. So rear shock A, rear shock goes over cap. Um, we'll grab some springs. Spring caps. Those are not spring caps. Okay, there we go. I think the hardest part about this is probably remembering all the pieces that you have to buy. There we go, and then we can get our spring caps in. Did I buy the top for this one? I did. Oh, I didn't. For some reason, I didn't remember that. Uh, do we have. Oh, sweet. We have all of our pieces so far, except for our rear suspension arms. Dang it. Rear suspension arm. There she is. And we'll get some rubber bushings while we're in here because I'm going to need these for these anyways. We'll probably just max it out at 20 like we usually do. The bushing screwed into place. Oh, we can't forget that rear upper arm. 
There's so many suspension pieces for these uh, these versions. For this suspension setup, at least. Um, wheel hub bearings we don't have yet. We'll do hub. So we can get four hub bearings, two hub caps for the front, because this is a real wheel drive mower. And we saved our drive axles. Sweet. How close are we to level 44? We're getting pretty close to level 44. So it goes level 45 and then level 40 or level 50. Uh, level 50 is your final, your final level, which we are honestly getting really close to. Uh, it'll probably be like another couple months of me just playing at this pace. Um, yeah, it's definitely not made for somebody just to speed right through all the levels. You gotta, I think it's 46,300 parts. Um, is how many stuff you need to take off and put back on, um, or missions, of course, which I don't really ever do missions. Um, but you have to do that much uh, work to get to 44, actually. 44, yeah. So it's uh, it's quite a bit. It's quite a bit of work. All right, there we go. Any other pieces? A couple more that rear suspension arm put on and then I think we have our lower so you got rear suspension arm you got rear suspension arm a and then you got rear suspension arm B there's a lot all right there we go wheel hub wheel hub bearing drive axle which I knew we had So looks like we lost two calipers in the uh, repair process, actually. That sucks. All right, the front end is a ton easier to do, but before we do the front end, we're gonna need to do some shock absorbers real quick. We'll do our caps. There it is. And then we need to do um, a new wheel setup. So right now, wrong button, we have rim basics. Okay, so these are, let me write this down so I don't forget, because honestly, these are gonna be a little bit tough to get correct. Um, these are, so we have 215, 40, 10, and then we have 12s in the rear that are 60. They're both 215 though, 60, well, so these are two inches bigger. That is a, it's a big difference. I mean, it is a lawnmower, but it is a big difference. All right, we'll actually separate these and see if we can save the rims. Because it'll make it a little bit easier on us uh, not having to buy the rims. All right, separate those for us, please. There we go. We got our next spring. All right, we won't be able to save the rubber, so we'll buy new tires. We'll get some slicks. Uh, two at the size of 10. 215. Profile 40. Yep. And then we want... Oh, wrong way. 12. We want two of them. 215 width. And a 60 profile on these. There we go. Thank you. And we'll separate these. Looks like some of these rims are in good shape. Like 30% plus. At least that one rim was in good shape. Alright, so we have a 12 inch rim here with a 12 inch slick. Alright, can we save this one? You can save the other 12 inch. So now we're going to need some Rim Basic 2 uh, 10 inch rims. I wonder what's the smallest you can do? An 8. 
That's like a shopping cart. All right, balance my 12s, thank you. And then we can install our 10 inches. There we go. I guess the tire size itself isn't really too much of a difference. I mean, I guess this is a, this 12s do have a uh, 20 more profile on them. So they do have, I think it's like a 20 centimeter, a millimeter larger uh, diam not diameter. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. All right, there we go. Almost done. I wonder what the bodywork is going to be on this because there wasn't many pieces for us to pull off. Let me see if I can find It's a community car. So go into here and we'll just type in. Click there. Honda. Okay, so this is the pieces. So not much. I know we saved one of them too. So we do save us um, a little bit of money. All right, we'll get the 12 stone on the rear here. It's so funny because in reality, you probably throw these tires on the rear and this entire thing would flip off this little lift here. Um, all right, so let's swim our B. It looks like we can finally start stacking everything on here. There we go, let me go first. Dang it, I can't click on this. There we go. Get our steering rack, finally. Uh, we'll get our tie rods. Two of those, two of those. Um, anything else, I'm just not sure if we need or not. Look at that, we have a ton of... Oh, this is so funny. We Oh, wait, do we even have a front axle at all? Oh, I guess we didn't. I just didn't remember that. So we're gonna need another upper suspension arm. Get this double wishbone in. Oh, uh, it's so great on suspension when I remember to buy most of the parts. There's nothing worse than having to go back and forth between all of them. What was that? That was a front wheel hub, right? Yeah, front wheel hub. So I'll have to go snag one of them. All right, so we'll grab ourselves a wheel hub real quick. One of these, and then we also need the brake caliper because we're missing both pieces. There we go, and what else were we missing? We were missing another piece. I th think it was an upper. We're gonna hope it was an upper at least. Wait, what size was that? Oh no, we slept on the wrong size. I bet you some of you guys noticed that and you were just like, oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Switch these around. Make sure I'm putting on the right size this time. Oh, so I did forget to balance the tire. I thought I forgot to balance one. Aha. Yes, okay. I was gonna say, woof. Alright, and then add. There we go. Let me just pop over here. So let's hope I got all these pieces. Sweet, I, it was the upper suspension that we were missing. Then I know we have two extra lower suspension arms. So those aren't anything to worry about. Or bottom suspension arms, my bad. We got our wheel hub, wheel hub bearing, brake disc. I love it when we hit this part right here where I can alternate between parts and this stuff just starts flying through. We start finishing this entire side so fast. Okay, is that all we need for this? Oh, we need end link. All right, and over here.
This is actually quite a bit of a, a longer video. I was expecting this to be a lot easier than usual, but it's honestly kind of the same amount of work um, that you'd be putting into making one of these normally. Or to making this like a normal size car. Okay, rear. Oh, I should have typed in muffler. Okay, so low. So it looks like this one's in here. Muffler D. There it is. Sucks that we couldn't buy that in the normal or in the performance shop, but it's all right. All right, anything else? Wait, this battery? Yes. How's it looking? What are we missing on that last piece? A seat, starter, steering wheel, front bumper. Okay, so the starter is the last piece, but we got to be up top here to do that. There we go. Let me click on the engine here. All right, last piece here is going to be our starter. And there we go. I think this thing is ready to go. Um, I'm going to fill this real quick. Some good old soup oil. All right, we got no ignition wires because I don't guess we don't need any. Um, all right, so now. Let me see, interior disassemble. So we need to go get the Typhoon C and a steering wheel. Alright, interior. Let me see here. We'll just snag both of those. I don't really care if that one doesn't match what it wants. That's fine with me. It looks funny anyways. All right, so interior or not interior. Uh, we saved one of these. I think it was the front bumper. It was. All right, so we need headlight and everything else except for our bumper. So here, okay, so everything here except for the bumper. Okay, that's the bumper right there. All right. Hey, these pieces are cheap too. Cost us what, like three hundred bucks in total for all these body pieces. It's a lot cheaper than Lamborghini, which costs seventy-five thousand dollars alone. All right. Any other? Oh, yeah. Put the bag on. Can't forget our bag. Oh, we saved the. Dang it. All right, guys. There we go, though. Oh my gosh, this lawnmower is worth sixty-nine thousand dollars. Oh my gosh, that is with a thirteen thousand dollar boost in restoration. All right. First things first. Paint shop. It's a Honda. We got to paint it Honda red. So let me just get in here real quick. Paint this sucker. Um, hue is definitely going to be red. Let's get zoomed in on this. Can we even zoom in? Oh, that's funny. We can't even zoom in. Um, all right. We're going red on this bad boy. Any libraries? Oh, no. Just really janky stuff. Ooh, that was a lot of paint. There we go. All right. Now, dyno time. All right. I'm excited to see what the dyno has to hold. I'm hoping 100 horsepower or over. That'd be absolutely insane. A lawnmower, 100 horsepower, you would be ripping it. You'd be so fast. Oh, she starts right up. She purrs. All right. 72 horsepower. Let's see what it puts down. I don't even know what good horsepower is for this, but it's got to be 72 is already a lot. Over 100 horsepower is insane. Absolutely insane. 102 horsepower. There we go, guys. Um, let me just put this in perspective for you guys. A lot of like the normal just like sedans and stuff driving around are like 200-ish horsepower. So something that weighs like a couple hundred pounds is some next level like fast stuff right here, guys. Um, this is probably if we were to race this this thing would be insanely fast um, For its for its size of course for its size, um, but yeah guys, we're gonna end it here. I Hope you guys <laughs> hope you guys all enjoyed uh, this little interesting video. We did here um, It's uh, it's definitely fun to mess around with stuff like this. We also have another piece of uh, I guess you could say 
you can say equipment coming up here soon and it, it's a uh it's the lamborghini nitro tractor we're gonna be working on that coming up here soon uh but next episode guys we're gonna be finishing up the rivalry between the mustangs and the challengers um so if you guys like this type of content hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know um that you guys enjoyed it but until further ado i'll see you all in the next car mechanic simulator video